have now. Let's look ahead and select who we believe is going to be number one at each position uh, this week. In week two, first up, Cynthia, who's the number one quarterback going to be? Well, it's Aaron Rodgers. This is an emotional roller coaster we're going to go on because he was quarterback 35 in week one. That's really low. But he plays the Detroit Lions where without Jeff Okuda, that's not even the main point, right? Aaron Rodgers is going to light up the Lions because the Lions really don't have anywhere to stop him. I think this is going to be like he's going to score all the points from last week and then he's going to add them to this week. So you're just going to get a ridiculous output from him, like 35 points, something crazy like that. Oh, I'm so glad you said that, Cynthia, because I think the number one wide receiver will be Devontae Adams on Monday night at Detroit in a bounce back game. Uh, as you said, um, Aaron Rodgers is going to, he has to play better since 2007. He, he hasn't had a worse game. And this is a defense that is uh, kind of reeling, and we'll see how badly. <laughs> uh, but just how morose things were in Jacksonville for the pack, the worst loss in a Rodgers start in the entire Rodgers era. And even then, Devontae still had 10 points. So I agree. Big game uh, for the guys uh, from Green Bay. But I do want to know, Cynthia, who's going to be the top running back? So I kind of cheated on this one because obviously the big guys like Christian McCaffrey are still going to be number one. But David Montgomery has a real chance to be number one as well. Why? Well, this is a copycat league. How did the, the Rams play the Bears? Well, they baited them into throwing the ball, which meant they kind of laid back soccer and coverage and allowed Montgomery space. You know who's going to do that same thing? Yeah, Cincinnati Bengals. I understand they held Dalvin Cook to a low amount of yards, but the point is, is they're going to try to get Andy Dalton to throw the ball. So until Justin Fields starts, you want to absolutely go all in on David Montgomery because everybody else on tape saw how to slow the Bears down. <laughs> Rough situation to team rank up after hearing that, but it was going to be the number one tight end. You know what? I see that come in on the rundown, and I'm like, wait, am I talking David Montgomery here? I'm glad it was Cynthia. She made the points for me, and I appreciate it. At the tight end <laughs> position, again, I'm, I'm going to be like you, Cynthia. We know that it's going to be Travis Kelsey, but I want to take this opportunity to talk about Logan Thomas, who was obviously fantastic again against the Chargers in week one. And this has been a trend going back to last season when he finished as the tight end four. Like, this is somebody who should be in your target each and every week. And even with the change at quarterback, going to Taylor Heineke, I think actually helps out Logan Thomas. Last season, he had 18 targets, 12 receptions, 152 yards, and a touchdown in two games with Taylor. So I think that this is going to be the most targeted guy in this offense, even with Terry McLaurin out there. Mostly because I think the matchup, if Bradbury's on McLaurin, I think he's just going to start looking for Logan Thomas. So I think, yeah, I love this. And plus, the Giants give up a lot of fantasy points to tight ends as well. So Logan Thomas, we'll put him as the 1B.